Okay, it's Saturday morning here in Omaha, Nebraska at Gas Pump Heaven. My name is Andy Anderson. I'm going to show you our air reproduction air meters we have. And um, we're going to start with the 1920s. We're going to go through the 50s. All of these here are made right here at our facility. Uh, they're cast aluminum, steel. Uh, the ones with the air globe on top have glass globes on top of them. Uh, very nice detail to them. And I'm going to start with the one over here. Okay, our first air meter here, this is a 1920s to 30 model. If you're working with your display of visible gas pumps, this fits that air very nicely. It's called a drum air meter, and on this one here, it has a drum here that the air hose came out here to service the car with, rolled back inside of here. It also has got a crank on the side here, which they did the poundage of air that they wanted. And so you turn this here up to the pounds you want, and it would ding. Now this is fully non-functional, uh, but this is what they did in the time. The globe on top lit, this is a glass globe on top of it here. Very nice unit. This one beside it over here we call a pedestal unit. And it's the same unit with the head. Again, the glass lit head, the numbers here that change to the poundage. This one here has the air here. They took the hose off the side. This one also had water. When they pulled up the island, they had water that went with it as well. And this one again is on a pedestal where this one here is called the drum. Now when you buy this one here from us and you're installing it, if you don't put the base down, it's somewhat top heavy. You might want to take and secure it of some nature. We furnish this mounting plate with it here. This plate here would mount to the ground or your, your display, whatever you have, would go like this here. Sets on the ground. Then this here sets back on top of it here. And this here would drop down onto it. And this here would require some drilling and fabrication to secure it. There's so many different applications that we don't take and do a lot of drilling on that side. Again, so many changes in it. These two here, 1920s to 30s. Then we come to the 1930s to 40s. Now this is also a clock face. Now the term clock face means the pounds, not that it keeps time. The pounds that are here. This one again, they set the crank to the side, set the poundage they want. Again, the air in the tire, and it took and dinged when it got there. Again, non-functional, very neat unit, 30s to 40s. All cast aluminum, powder coat finish. Um, very nice unit. Then we go to the 1950s. This here is our Islander, we call it, because it has a light on top, has the deal. This one also has a retractor in the bottom of it here for the hose, and it takes and they would pull it out for the island. Again, it shows the poundage here, set it with the crank, again, non-functional. This one lights up the top, use a different type of bulbs, whatever you might like to show. It, when, you, when you select this one here, you would want to watch the ceiling clearance, the height you have to install if you're going inside with it. Um, very neat unit, again, had the retractors in it, called an Islander. This here, again, is 1950s style. This air meter over here is our most popular air meter. It's a tar flater, we call it. Same head as this one here uses. This one here has a cast aluminum base, steel sides on it, the meter face here again. Now this here, you notice, has got the meter face where them had clock faces. This was a progression in time of how they did the air meters. This one here, the hose comes off of here, goes along with it to service a tire. Again, 1950s to 60s, probably our most popular air meter we have. Again, some of you ask us about how steady it is and what it amounts to. The base is pretty good size here, but again, somewhat rigid. Now, to help that along, we take and furnish this here. This is an option, but we sell this here base here for it, and it bolts to this four holes here. It bolts to this here. Now, you can see it's kind of stiff inside of here. It's got some stiffeners and works out real well. Very rigid piece. It takes up quite a bit more room on your floor, your display. You want to allow for that for setting it, but it also is very good if you've got a lot of traffic and people around it. keeps it from getting in trouble. And again, it gives you a look here, and it sets just like this right here on it. Again, it bolts down. Um, very nice unit. Um, again, these here, we also make this one here in a wall mount which has a different bracket on the bottom of it. Here's the only thing different. And it's on our website as well. You can see the wall mount. We have this in the wall mount. And again, in this style here, uh, this is probably our most popular, most recognizable, the guys 50s to 60s like this one here. Again, all metal construction. Um, the faces light up in them. And uh, they're nice units. It, uh, again, our website will give you more definition, more description of it. Um, it uh, take a look. and. Thank you for taking your time this morning. Thank you.